Welcome back to TM Reviews. I'm Miller, and I actually have my mom with me today. Um, where'd we go today? We went to the Branding Iron in Shawnee. What'd you think about it, first impressions? I thought it was really cool when you first walked in. I thought it had a great feel. Um, it was very nice. It, it went with kind of what the the branding iron country style decor. Yeah. I thought it looked really great. I thought when we pulled up, I thought it looked like like a, obviously western, but like where you go buy boots. It's definitely yeah. a western spot. Yes. It's kind of like an old school saloon kind of. Sure. Yeah. But when you, I, when you walked in, it was homey, nice, nicer restaurant, big restaurant, but it was it was good. Yeah, well, and I thought it had great colors. It had neutral colors, but yeah. very clean and crisp looking. It looked very new, um, very clean. Yeah, very. And it, and it had several different areas within the facility where you could have different groups that didn't interfere with each other. Yeah, um, we did. I did go check the bathrooms at the end, and those are nice and clean. Um, what did you have to drink? Um, I had the drink of the day, and it was a Blue Paradise something. I can't remember the name of it, but it's it's more of a fruity drink. Um, it's a, a lot of people probably call it a girly drink. I enjoyed it. I had it, too. it was a good one. It was very good. So, but I had a pork chop, and you had a big old steak, right? I had the I I I bit off a big chunk and tried their ribeye. Yeah. They had I, I like a medium. And it was very moist, very tender, very, I mean, it just kind of fell apart when you ate it and had a, an excellent flavor. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you go someplace to get a steak <coughs> and they say it's a grilled steak or whatever. And it's, eh, this steak really tasted like if you were home or someplace very nice and they pulled it off of the grill and put it on your plate. Yeah. They had uh, steaks, uh, anything. From small sirloins that were very well priced for the, what they were, all the way up to a ribeye. Um, the one thing I would say, and I find it at a lot of nice restaurants, if you prefer a ribeye, there's no such thing as a small ribeye. No. So be prepared. It, they, their smallest ribeye is 14 ounces. But I wanted to taste it and be able to review it, so I went ahead and did that and um, got it, and it it. It looked fabulous when yeah. it came out. So did your pork chop. Oh yeah, it, it looked in probably the best pork chops I've had. It, it was really good, so. Yeah, and when he, when your pork chop first come out, I thought there's only one, you know, and a lot of places do too. But when they actually set it down and we could see it, that pork chop was thick. It was, yeah. Thick, and when you, we, we tasted each other's just to see what it was like. And when you gave me a taste of that pork chop, I was surprised at how, extremely well cooked it was it was extremely moist but very well cooked yeah same with your steak the, that was... uh, prices are good they have all prices mm -hmm. they have i mean like if you like a hamburger or something their hamburgers looked amazing on the pictures and stuff and yeah. the food that we saw come out um normal prices like any place else and their their steaks were anywhere from 12.99 to I think the biggest one I saw was the filet at twenty nine ninety nine. Yeah. But again, we're talking they were big steaks. They weren't little bitty nothing. And it's unique to this place where they have their own flavor, how the item's supposed to taste. But it's just not like, oh, that, that's pretty good. It's exceptional food. It was very, very good. So speaking um, unique, talk about your pork chop salsa that you had never tried that I, I talked to you into trying. Yeah, that was weird. Um, it's a mango salsa. Yeah, so I uh, got a bite of my pork chop and put some mango salsa on it. And at first it's weird because I've never had it before. But it complements each other and tastes really good. Mm -hmm. So it was, that's obviously what it's made for, but I usually leave that part alone. Yeah. But it, it was good. It was good. It was very good. Their hours are pretty good. I forgot what they were, but I'll post that in pictures as well. But... Well, and their appetizers. We tried several appetizers. Yeah. Um, I love fried green tomatoes, and a lot of places don't have those. It's pretty unique to find it. Um, this place had fried green tomatoes. when they So we, tr we ordered them to try them. When they first came out, I was very skeptical mm -hmm. because I like thin, crisp tomatoes when I do that. 
and theirs are, are fairly thick, um, but I tried them and they were amazing. They were very good for fried green tomatoes, and it's an appetizer that's not found in a lot of places. Yeah. So. Uh, and I normally don't like them. I don't like green tomatoes, basically. Right. But I, I tried them and I actually enjoyed them. They were pretty good after I burnt my tongue. But... <laughs> well, that's because it was just coming yeah. straight out of the oven. <laughs> yeah. You had to wait for a second, but I, I enjoyed them. Um, another thing that stood out was their queso. Yes. Their queso was really good. And chips. Queso and chips, yeah. Yeah. Their chips were homemade. Yeah. So the, the reason I chose to go with this place and mom likes steak, so I invited her to come. Uh, it's a local rancher who owns this place. And actually uses his own cattle. So I thought that was cool. So I wanted to go check it out. That probably has a lot to do with the extreme quality and the good pricing. Yeah. The prices are really good. Nothing was over expensive. But the portions were big. Portions were big. Like I said, if you get a ribeye, the only ribeye they have is 14 ounces. But I love to take steak home and eat it later. So it wasn't a big deal. I just planned the to-go box before I even got the steak. Um, the uh, price. And when we're saying the prices were good, keep in mind we had two appetizers, two drinks, a, I had a Sprite, uh, a steak, a pork chop, and one other thing, and we walked out with 80 bucks. Well, and you have to keep in mind in that $80, that includes your your uh, tax and everything, mm -hmm. but I chose to get one of the upper end, probably the second highest uh, steak price on the right. menu. You can, if you like sirloin or something like that, you can get that for twelve ninety nine. I just prefer ribeye, mm -hmm. and if we're going to review and tell you what's good and what's not, mm -hmm. I wanted to try something that I, I know a lot about. So, so yeah, pointing that out since you did get the upper end. And we still walked out for 80 bucks. Um, just shows how good a pricing it is. Right. Well, and they give you uh, hot rolls with honey butter yep. with your meal also. Yeah. So. Uh, Brian, our waiter, he deserves a, deserves a raise. He was exceptional. He was exceptional. Very friendly. He, he, went, he was there anytime we needed him. He checked on us fairly often, uh, but he was not hovering either. Right. You know, he was not one of the, so often you either go somewhere and you don't get the service you need, mm -hmm. or you get so much and they hover so much, you just want them to leave you alone. Yeah. He had the perfect amount. He knew exactly what he was, he was exceptional. He was very well at suggesting. Yeah. And, and he had time to hover if he, if that's how he served. Yeah. Because it wasn't super busy, so he could have been hovering. Right. But he kept around, but... Also kept busy, so it wasn't like you thought he was waiting on you. Right. So, again, Brian, if you watch this, thank you. You did great. I also you felt like this was a place, I know, um, some people that really like appetizer type things like chips and queso, chips and, queso mm -hmm. and, and the green tomatoes, or they had rattlesnake bites and a few things like that. Um, if you're someone that sometimes makes meals out of those, yeah. I would definitely go back just for the appetizers, especially the, the queso. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it, um, and we ate and ate on them, and they were five ninety nine. Yeah. And Big one, bowl of queso. Yeah. Like you normally eat on them until your food come out, and then yeah. you leave them alone. I ate on them the entire freaking meal. Yeah. And we still had half the thing left over. Really yeah, nice absolutely. About this. Cameron and I was talking about it in the car on the way home. Was so often when you eat, especially like a steak or a big pork chop or yeah. something, and it, even though it's well cooked and everything, you come out thinking, oh, it's so heavy, so heavy. I ate too much. I just feel, ugh. And that was not the case. It was very, um, we didn't feel overstuffed. And quite honestly, um, I ate more than I normally would at a meal because it, we didn't go there until like, late lunch yeah. and um i had not eaten realized when we got there i hadn't eaten so i was extremely hungry yeah. so i probably ate more than i even normally would and i felt excellent when i left i didn't feel that heavy oh like you do at thanksgiving or yeah. when you go someplace and um, overeat well, so overall i think it's a really good spot and i'll be back um did you have an x factor that just stood out above everything else there I don't know, it was such an 
Oh, you know, a lot of the places you go, you do have where, oh, this is what stood out mm -hmm. that I liked or I didn't like. Yeah. This was such an overall enjoyable experience yeah. that I don't know that I can pinpoint one thing other than, I, like I said, everything we tried, the flavor was amazing on. Yeah. And our waiting, our, our service was excellent. Yes. Right? And, and well, you... and on that ribeye that I got, I know I keep talking about how big it was, and so the price wasn't so bad, but in that, if we're talking quality and price, mm -hmm. especially with the price of the meat and stuff right now, it was not only an excellent cut, excellent cook, really you could consider it two meals. I, even though I over ate what normally would, I still have over half my steak yeah. and I can go home and just, quite honestly, it was so well flavored, I don't even know that it needs heated to re -eat. No. It'd make it great, just cut it up and eat it again or throw it on yeah. some bread. It was excellent. Uh, yeah, so I think this is an overall winner. It's a good spot that was recommended on for us to go check out by mm -hmm. probably like eight different people that I was talking to. Um, so thank you for recommending. Absolutely. Um, comment down below on somewhere else to rec uh, check out. Um, like Tim says, waste our money, not yours. Um, <laughs> this one was quite enjoyable. It was like, great, yeah. It's, it's go back worthy, 100%. There's nothing that they really could have done better. No, in fact, um, I called Cameron's dad on the way back, and I told him, I said, I have half a steak, and you can have it, and so you know how good this was? As long as you promise you will take me back. If not, you can't touch my steak. It's my dinner. <laughs> Mom, Mom's a steak lady, so. This is Cameron's mom, Lana, again. Uh, do you recall we went to the branding iron and and our portion sizes were huge so i brought those home and my husband reheated them and had them for his dinner greg what did you think of the food i thought the ribeye was fantastic and the pork chop which seemed to be about three quarters of an inch thick was really really good it just it was moist and juicy and i i had no problems with it it was very very good and i had a roll with their honey butter and the honey butter was just great as well so it was just an overall great uh leftover meal and how did you heat it what do you mean how did you how did you reheat it did you put it in a, I I used it a, in microwave? a microwave just put it in a microwave and the juice was still in there uh it was uh medium cooked it was just a very good meal i i used a knife but i didn't really have to would you eat it again uh, definitely. It, it was the best meal I've had in a long time. Best steak I've had in a long time. And that's after being reheated, guys. <laughs> so, yeah, th thanks again for tuning in and watching. Like and, like and subscribe. Um, 